friend, Minister Ildis, colleagues from the media. I'm very happy to be here in Paramaribo, Suriname. In the bilateral meeting, Minister Ildis and I discussed a wide range of issues and allow me to highlight a few points. First, we agree there are still great opportunity in our trade and investment relation. Indonesia is therefore committed to enhance economic cooperation with Suriname. We agreed to focus our cooperation in the field of infrastructure development, agriculture, energy, mining, and development of Sharia banking. We welcome the intensive contact between our state, uh, two state-owned enterprises as well as private sectors. Indonesia is ready to participate in infrastructure development projects in Suriname. Indonesia is also working to enhance Suriname capacity in a number of areas, including livestock development through artificial insemination for livestock program between Indonesia, Suriname, and Islamic Development Bank. And people to people contact is an important element in our relation, especially given our close cultural and historical ties. I'm therefore very happy that today we signed an MOU on visa exemption for, or for a diplomatic uh, service and ordinary passport for them. This MOU is the first of its kind covering diplomatic service and ordinary passport holders in one MOU. And I hope this will encourage greater basic between our two people. And finally, I share with Minister Ildis Indonesia candidacy to UN Human Rights Council for the period of 2020-2022. Indonesia seeks Suriname support for its Indonesia candidature. And later on, I will have a courtesy call to President Peters. Once again, thank you very much, uh, Yudis, for the very warm reception and friendship and looking forward to continue working with you, not only on the bilateral issues, but also on regional and international issues.